okay in this lecture we find the line integral surface integral and volume integral of a vector field firstly we find the line integral of a vector field for that we consider the vector field region and in that region we choose a curve line x y if the vector point function changes point to point along the line then it gives the line integral of a vector field consider a be the vector point function at a point p on the curve and at that point we consider a small elementary displacement dr then that vector a which makes angle theta and we find one component that is the product of vector a and the small elementary displacement along the curve xy if we take the total all such products in the displacement from x to y that total of all such products gives the line integral of vector a along the curve xy hence we write the line integral from x to y is vector a dot dr if we again simplifying that equation as vector a is defined as vector point function a in terms of three components ax along x axis unit vector i ax plus unit vector j ay plus k unit vector az and the displacement vector along the line xy that also we write its component unit vector i dx plus unit vector z dy plus unit vector k dz therefore the line integral the total of all such products vector a dot dr it gives the line integral of x to y vector a dot dr we also write for the complete line x to y is ax dx bracket plus a y d y plus a z d z that term represent the line integral of a vector field hence in that term we get an idea about the effect of vector field along a line it gives an line integral then we see the second point surface integral of a vector field again in the same as earlier we considering the vector field region and in that vector field region if we considering a closed surface that surface we call here surface area capital s if in that surface we considering 
a is vector which is over the surface yes that vector we call vector a at the point p if we consider the another unit normal vector which is directed on the small surface element that small surface element is ds and unit normal vector is n so we write n is the unit normal vector it makes angle theta hence theta becomes angle between vector a and unit vector n hence component of vector a normal to small surface element ds becomes equal to vector a dot unit vector n and we find that simplify the term we get a n is unit vector 1 therefore simply we write cos of theta here also the vector a we define unit vector i a x plus unit vector j a y plus unit vector k a z then the surface integral of the surface integral we write vector a dot unit vector n ds over the surface which equal to that is unit vector n ds that we write in terms of vector ds small element we write the vector a dot ds this is the another equation we get and that equation is called as surface integral of vector field a over the surface yes where we write vector unit vector n ds is equal to vector ds in the same manner we also find a dot ds ds we write unit vector i ds1 plus unit vector j ds2 plus unit vector k ds3 and vector a is as it is vector i unit vector i ax plus unit vector j ay plus unit vector k az therefore we write the separate terms that also gives the surface integral of a vector field nextly or we simplify in terms of a cos theta then how we write the equation the surface integral a ds that equal to surface integral here that value we put here this a cos theta this that also represent surface integral of vector field a over the surface yes then we find volume integral of a vector field before that we see here the surface integral the vector a which physical quantity we mostly using here just like for example vector a is taken as a electric field vector or magnetic field vector if that vector is directed over the surface yes we get electric flux or the magnetic flux similarly in the earlier article example we write which vector we choosing here for example the physical quantity force as a vector term that vector 
force is a vector if that force is changes point to point along the line along with the displacement then we can get work done in the displacement hence work done is one of the line integral here for surface integral now how we get the magnetic flux or electric flux lines over the surface yes if that vector is directed over the surface yes then if the surface integral is surface integral a ds equal to surface integral a cos theta ds the physical quantity taken for that vector field is to be electric field or magnetic field vector in the third case the volume integral of a vector field for that we consider a closed surface which encloses the volume v and what is the surface this is the total closed surface which encloses the volume v that volume inside that volume is in the region of vector field region and that vector field region is vector a then the vector volume integral of this vector a over this volume v is taken as a triple integral of vector a dot dv hence a dv that we call here the volume integral of the vector field a over the volume v hence that also represent this one of the next equation equation b we calculate earlier similarly a is known and this is the third one for volume integral of vector field that is the equation c here also we expand these components now which are these components vector a is unit vector a i a x plus unit vector j a y plus unit vector k a z and dv is taken as a dx dy dz volume element in that case then how we get that term surface integral volume integral a dv equal to we write that integration is with respect to x y z since volume element we write in terms of x y z here then vector a vector i unit vector i a x plus unit vector z a y plus unit vector k a z into dx dy dz therefore we write the simplified three component terms unit vector i into integral what are these terms we write integration ax dx dy dz these are with respect to x y z plus unit vector z volume integral 
xyz ay dx dy dz plus unit vector k triple integral with respect to xyz az dx dy dz it represent the volume integral of a vector field hence we see the three terms separately so integral line integral of a vector field surface integral of vector field and volume integral of a vector field in that region we have to consider the small volume element dv here the physical quantity which encloses the volume v is to be charge electric charge hence so how the electric charge enclosed in this volume v that volume v which encloses the surface yes that term gives the volume integral of a vector field thank you